Carly Russell's disappearance sent shockwaves through the state of Alabama for 49 hours as a search for the missing woman worried many. Local police, federal law enforcement, family and community members all trying to find the 25-year-old after this 911 call last Thursday. I am on Interstate 459 and there is a kid just walking by themselves in the road. That call coming from Interstate 459 South. Russell telling a dispatcher a toddler was walking alone on the side of the road. Police would arrive to find Carly's car, wig, purse, and phone, but no sign of her or the toddler. 22 call her RP back. She's not at their vehicle. CLA in red and color to Nicole Russell out of Birmingham. And for we're not getting the female to answer. We're trying to call her back. She's not answering. 22, just be advised her vehicle's unlocked, running. All her personal belongings, you can set for her phone. Police say on Saturday night, Russell showed up at her parents' home. Listen to what she told detectives. When she got out of her vehicle to check on the child, a man came out of the trees and mumbled that he was checking on the baby. She claimed that the man then picked her up and she screamed. The next thing she remembers is being in the trailer of an 18-wheeler. Hoover detectives also described what surveillance video at her job showed before Russell called 911 that Thursday. Surveillance video from her place of employment shows Carly concealed a dark colored bathrobe, a roll of toilet paper, and other items belonging to the business. Detectives say the 25 year old also stopped at a Target where she bought snacks that weren't found in her car when officers arrived and say her internet search history over the last month are quote, relevant to this case. On July 11th at 7.30 a.m., the term, do you have to pay for an Amber Alert was searched? On July 13th at 1.03 a.m., the day of her disappearance, a search for the movie Taken, a film about abduction, was conducted. Hoover detectives say they hope to speak to Russell again, but so far that hasn't happened since she returned home Saturday. We're still working this case, and we work in this case until we uncover every piece of evidence that helps us account for the 49 hours that Carly Russell was missing.